Uh, hello there YouTube friends. I've been kind of busy. Nasty weather. I thought I might uh, bring you along for this. Um, looking at bidding on a firewood salvage. So this is tree number one in this bid. So goes on out that way. Let's Let's see if this will focus on that. I don't think it will. Well, anyhow, that's three foot four inches. Runs quite a ways out there. Nice, beautiful dug fur. Very sound. So that is tree number one on this bed, and I will take a look. So it looks like there's another one just up here a little ways. There might be one more out there. We'll see. I will bring you in on the next one. But just in total, this firewood salvage <clears throat> is supposed to be about 62 quarts. So let's take a look. So we're actually, uh, <laughs> might have been better off if I would have spotted this when I was at the other tree. Because I can kind of see it now. But uh, I can see the butt <laughs> once I drove up. But this looks like another tree in the sail. So. So I see some <laughs> yeah, that one is five feet at the butt. So, And then all the way out to there. So, to show you what I mean, I missed it. I'll probably be able to see it in the, the film there. So here's the second tree in the job. And... Don't know. That doesn't look like it's showing up real, real well. There we go. There's the butt of the first tree. So, <laughs> huh. Let's see. Yeah, I just uh, give you an idea here. Let's sit you down and. So as you can see there, that one's pretty healthy, healthy sized tree, but this is a bid with the Forest Service, and essentially <coughs> all of that will have to be rolled out because the rules on the salvage bid is uh, 
no skidding, no equipment, you know, off the campsites and or normal driving paths. So, we'll have to uh, take that into consideration. That's not a big deal because the tree comes out into a, one of the camping spots. We'll, we'll probably see the tip. Trees like that when there aren't included. So, but this one could all be bucked up and rolled right out. The other thing I have to consider with this job is it is approximately 15 miles from my house and I have three months to complete the job and it's 60 the job like I said is 62 cords so that's 20 cords a month it's doable but what I have to con consider with that is it's January February March and it's 15 miles gaining elevation the whole time so there is a potential we could get a dumping of snow up here you know a couple feet would would be very likely um, you know so it, that's something that needs to be considered with this you know my old trucks only two-wheel drive and I think this road is actually plowed but the campground won't be so that's something I need to take into consideration with this so let's see where we're at on my map we got another one on up here it should be on the right we're looking for hmm. the top of the the one as well that might help to looking at the map help us to locate the second one but I'm gonna go ahead and cut you guys off so I can pay a little more attention to what I got going here well it was almost a waste to turn you off I turned you off drove around the corner and here we go there's the next one Three foot three. A little bit soft at the very butt. But once we get up into here, it's nice and sound. They cut several sections to roll them out of the road. bunch rolling out through there so let me grab my hat it's raining on me I'm bringing there we go so that one breaks off and terminates right there so once again nice easy one that great big one <laughs> It's gonna be fun. Um, since you can't drag it, you can't use equipment. Um, I've tried rolling those rounds before, and realistically, on that one, I'm going to end up wheelbarrowing it probably, which is a super pain. Um, so that needs to be taken into consideration. All of this right here, there's some pretty crooked cuts they made, so you're gonna have some loss. Nothing horrible. It's a decent little second growth. First two we looked at were nice old growth, but you can tell this has second growth bark. Um, 
Yeah, second growth all the way down. Sometimes you get some old growth at the bottom of them, but well, let's move on to the next one. Well, here's a little more included on this. There was one a little bit smaller than this back there. I didn't even bother to turn the camera on for. Um, but there's a goodly uh, amount in this little mess here. Yeah, it's all limbs. The other thing a first nest to keep in mind when bidding these is there's a certain degree of cleanup you are responsible for. Um, your sawdust needs to be scattered or, or whatnot. You know, and branches, they, they give slash locations or scattered out or Oh, yeah, we're standing on one, so we got one here. See, this is where it can get a little tricky. Well, that one's rotten anyhow. 12 inch, 12, 13 inch. That's not included. We got... 13 inch are there. I'm all over the place here. 30 inch are there. I'll have to sit down with some calculations because it does make me question. So, big old, big old sucker here again. Um, I can tell they had some issues with falling. Um, let's see. But anything they had a oh no that's reaching out to there plus dogs they had a three foot bar so if you look here when they fell it so a three foot bar they had a hard time getting that wedge out you can see they left just a little bit there and they had to cut it there interesting fiber pull I find this interesting given the size look at the thin bark Some thicker bark over here all oh, it's just all oh, they they trimmed it with the saw that's nah, definitely a nice old growth bark so that one is right at five foot and this one must add a lean to her they notched her out for a jack they jacked that sucker over Oh, look at that beautiful dug fir wood there. My goodness. Walking. You know, this one I'm walking on right here looks like itty bitty little toothpick right now, but you know, that's a good 18, 20 inch tree. Okay. A little burrow action. A couple of them. My goodness gracious. This tree goes and goes and goes. We're going to hop off it. Oh my.
Now see once again, like I said, this is something you gotta consider. We're a long way straight back, no skidding, wheelbarrows accepted, acceptable or a wagon or something. She sunk in there pretty good. I was hoping on the width of this loop it wouldn't be so wide. Might end up pulling some of it out that way. I think that's the other side of the loop. So and talk about sinking in. We're still on tree, friends. We're still on 18 inches of tree, believe it or not. What I find interesting. <laughs> Oh, that one too. This one almost seems to be on top of our tree. Well, hello there. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this a little something different. Um, you know, not out cutting firewood, but I thought it might be cool to share this. Uh, bit I'm looking at doing and I also wanted to throw this on the end uh, Centurion 8 welcome thanks for subscribing Ramir 1 thank you Jonathan Boyd thanks for subscribing Jay Davis thank you for subscribing um, and I'm sorry with this one uh, I have a hard time pronouncing some names it's Anna Pascaroli. I'm sure I butchered your last name and I'm very sorry. But, but thanks for subscribing. And Andre Vrancian. I I'm sorry the on your last name there. And I do know with YouTube that there may be some people that I missed here. It doesn't show all of you. You know, so if I missed you, thanks and uh hopefully you enjoyed this video it was fun to go out and you know bid this um or look at it i actually haven't submitted my bid yet this was actually the second one i looked at this day the first one was was very spread out and a little confusing so i didn't end up recording that one and i'm not gonna bid on that one either but uh this one uh i thought i would it's some really nice wood um, I gotta decide what I'm going to bid on it and I have a week or two to figure that out and it'll it'll end up being a chunk of money to throw out up front but yeah you know, there's there's a lot of really nice wood in here um, some really big stuff you know and 15 miles from the house isn't too bad so we'll see uh, fingers crossed I get this one so once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.